morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, September 18, 2021. Suffer day 10. Vlog number 1630. Apparently, I'm just adding up the vlog from yesterday. So by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog, sure you up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, um, it's currently 12.19 on, on Sunday the 19th. Um, I basically had to work until like 4.30 or so or something like that. And then, um, then I had to go over like, well, after leaving work, I went straight over to my cousin's house, um, and like had some dinner and then came home like around six or something because I had to finish up doing all of the assignments that I had to do for today um, before midnight and I had like um, a lot of homework and a lot of stuff that I had to like do well on um, which I really don't know if I did well on them because it's um, human anatomy too um, and physiology and like <laughs> I like you know I mean, there's just a lot of things that you're just generally not sure about. I mean, you can know, like you can just be really, really brilliant and still not be sure about every single thing. Um, and then in my case, like, um, like, you know, he, like, we have to submit like the classwork assignments that we do. Um, and like, they're considered a completion grade. So, what I'm not sure about is if like we're we get extra credit for being right or not, because um, I'm all about the extra credit. And then um, shit, right? So that's like one thing that I'm not sure about. And when I'm like not sure about something, it just it makes me like lose hope in a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and then that I had like the homework. Uh, it was like super super long, but it's a really good like backup resource to get your eating done at least um and tomorrow i have the exam so officially now as of sunday like as of midnight sunday the exam is open and i have until midnight sunday <clears throat> sorry midnight saturday till midnight sunday <laughs> um to access the exam and then complete it and i think it's like like an hour and a half or so time to complete the test in and I think there's like 60 to 90 questions I'm not really too sure um or anything and then my nutrition test is actually not going to be open until Monday so what I'm going to it's actually not going to be open for like an hour it's only going to be open for an hour and it's only going to be open on Monday um um like I don't know sometime around like five o'clock or so i can't remember exactly but um that means that i so i still have to read chapters two three and four for nutrition um obviously and look at the powerpoints and do the study guide so um whenever i get done with the exam for h and p or human um an a and p two lecture tomorrow um i'm gonna read and then complete the study guide and um um do the test um on monday for a nutrition class um and i think that's all like like i have to do i have to read i was supposed to watch the powerpoints but like i wasn't able to get a hold of the teacher via email so like um there was like an issue like with um my my student account where I couldn't like access the powerpoints and so I tried to email her about that and I didn't hear back from her so I don't really know what the deal is with that um so I'm just gonna read the chapters instead um I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a hold of those powerpoints um by the time that it's the it's like time for the exam so I don't want it to be too like close um and yeah for me and like i'm sure like all of you out there can probably relate that like i don't know a couple of days before the exam it's pretty much cram you know because the thing is like you don't want to like well it's not really 
It's not really cram. So, like, you're supposed to be completing the chapters all along, right? Um, like, one at a time. And then um, by the time that the exam rolls around, all you have to do is, like, complete a study guide and make sure that you did all of your reading. Um, and, like, study the study guide and, like, did all of your homework assignments and stuff and I don't even know what else I mean there's like a lot of like study material too you know like flashcards or whatever and yeah there's a lot I mean it never really stops <laughs> um so um that's the whole thing about it is like you can go for as long as you want which means that as long as you're physically able to go you can go um, and then, so that's like the whole catch, like it's like a catch-22, so if you don't do it to its entirety, um, then you won't get an A, you know? Um, so it's very difficult, and anyway, um, so what was I saying? Crap, I forgot. Um, so yeah, so... As of right now, it's 12.25 a.m. I'm going to go to bed. I'm so freaking tired. So I came home after that, and I did all of my assignments that I was supposed to be due for today. Um, I didn't really do that well. I think I got like a 39 in the quiz um, for Chapter 20. And then, um, but the homework and stuff was like worth 50 points. And like supposedly the completion assignments were worth 10 points each so I had to submit I had submitted two today on time um and like yeah and he was saying in lecture like if you don't do well on your first exam like don't freak out and like of course I'm going to freak out because I have to freak out due to the fact that like you know some things like can't be made up you know what I mean like you just like for me especially like I um, like, I have to try, like, super, super hard, like, every single time, because if I don't, um, then something will happen to me, so, um, like, I just don't, um, ow, oh my god, you know, I just want to prevent that as much as possible, um, and... Yeah, so I just got finished kind of doing everything um, and stuff and um, so I'm going to go back through like all the quizzes till date that I had to do for um, a &P Lecture 2, for a &P 2 Lecture, go through all the quizzes and like, you know, get all the correct answers, at least try to anyways. It's just the problem is that you know, there's not, like, a lot of time. So I do have to wake up, like, super early tomorrow and start working on that. Um, because, like, I mean, there's plenty of time tomorrow to, like, prepare. Um, and, like, answer all of the questions that I didn't get correct, um, on the quizzes, um, correctly. Um, to do that. But I have to take breaks in between, um, in order to, like, actually be able to absorb all the information that I'm, like, reading and, um, writing about. Um, so, yeah. Um, and don't even ask me, like, because I haven't really planned that out. Um, like, you're supposed, like, so, I feel like three hours break in between, like, studying. So, three hours of studying and taking a three-hour break. Um... I feel like that's a little bit too long, but if I don't do that, then I won't have like the entire rest of the day to um, fully devote to like, um, you know, whatever else I have left to, to study, which would probably be the study guide, completing all the answers on the study guide, and then like memorizing the study guide answers. Um, and then, I don't know, I kind of feel like I have to at least go back through and look through the book 
again, but looking through it is, it's not going to do me any good. I do actually have to go through and read each of those chapters again, um, just to um, absorb, to get more information in. Um, and then, hope, so if the test, if I allow about an hour and a half um, to take the test, you know, and say that reading one chapter takes an hour to read a chapter, that would be three hours. Um, so if I take, if I study for three hours, um, which means that like I do all the correct answers to the quizzes for the beginning of the day, then take a three hour break and then go back and read for three hours, like all three chapters, um, and do, and then like, you know, work on the study guide alongside it actually. Um, then I might be done like around, like if I start at nine, it'll be nine, 10, 11, 12. And then from 12, uh, one, two, three till three, I'll have a break. And then from three until let's say seven, um, you know, that's like four hours of like just sheer studying time. And then I'll have an additional five, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like five more hours to um, take the test. So it's really, really important to kind of like organize your time. I'm still kind of like trying to get into the habit of it. So um, I'm not the greatest at it, <laughs> um, which kind of sets me back a lot. <laughs> um, I had a yogurt today. I had like some beef and rice for for lunch or for dinner, I guess, at my, at my cousin's house. And then some yogurt, water, and the multigrains with the cheese on them. And that's pretty much it. It's like all I had to eat today. Um, that's the other thing with like exams and stuff. Like everything comes, like studying and stuff comes like very first. Um, before eating and sleeping so I could have come home and like gone to sleep um, but I had to like sit up and you know stay up and do everything do all my assignments and right now I'm like I'm still hungry like I could eat and then go to bed like I wouldn't in, in a normal situation but I'm not gonna do that right now because um, I have some mac and cheese, but it's like carbs and like it's not going to break down uh, fast enough as I would, I would like over um, the next couple of days because I have two exams to do so I have to sit um, and I have to stress about them so I have to constantly think and work. Um, so it's not going to like burn all those calories. Um, so I can't. <laughs> um, if I had like a salad or something, I told my cousin's wife that I was gonna come over there again tomorrow on Sunday. Um, maybe because like I still have to eat like breakfast and stuff. So I may go and do that for like an hour or so. Um, so yeah, that is part of the plan for tomorrow um, is I do have to eat something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet because I do have the mac and cheese, so I might just end up eating that for tomorrow, like all day, and just like, um, just uh, study and stuff tomorrow, um, and be like, um, a little bit more prepared for the exam. I'm thinking like, aiming for a B is like wishful thinking, but whatever. What are you gonna do, right? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.